Hello there, I've got a video today showing you how to make an airlock or an automatic door in Minecraft. So you can see here I've got a mock mode on the left. Up there the pressure plate on the track opens the first door and then I've got a second set. I usually set up two of these at a time in order to ensure that no mobs will get through. So first off, I'll just give you a quick glance of how the circuit works. You've got two pressure plates. I usually place these at least two from powered rails and then I space three from either of those and that's where I put the block that'll be moving. So I've got the pressure plates with just redstone wiring underneath them and then I go to connect it to a block in the back with a single redstone torch as an inverter and that goes up to a sticky piston. So when the cart hits this pressure plate it'll pull the block back and retract allowing it to go by. Some people use these at chest level and at foot level, but there's really no reason. One will block all mobs in a 2x1 corridor. So I did this with the glass hole just so you could see, and then one with no wall so you can see how it works. Now as far as the wiring goes, the they don't have to be exactly symmetrical. It'll work just like you can see right here, as long as you've got a powerful enough sing signal. And there's nothing really fancy to it. I made this video because the other demos I've seen online don't show the wiring very well and it makes it harder to learn how to do this. And it's really a good simple system if you have an island or even, you know, you just want some assurance to keep mobs out of your base. Before I started building these things, I had creepers getting into my house and occasionally blowing up my good items and after I lost some diamonds, I started building them from that point forward. And now I'll show you how to build one. Space it out like this and you can see I put blue blocks on the edge to make it easier to count for the demo. We've got pressure plate, one, two, and then this will be just another regular rail. And I've got it marked, this will be where I put the piston, and then a pressure plate, two more. So after you get the pressure plates placed, you got in the center section that's three from either end. Go two out, build up to chest level, put a piston up, sticky piston, and then put up whatever your doorway is going to be. I'm just using emeralds here just for, you know, a different color throw down a couple wires, lead into an inverter torch, and you just take redstone wire directly under the track, leading up to the pressure plates. And in case you're not too familiar with the inverters, the reason we're doing that is so that it's normally on, because we want it normally blocked until you approach on the cart. So now, I'll drop this on without any momentum, see it opens up. Now I'll just now I'll just ride it around a little bit. So you can see how this works. And my track is crappy, but whatever. You get the idea. I've had mobs sneak by one of these, but if you put two of them in series, I've never had one get through. That's it. You can build these things out of whatever you want. All it really takes is a couple platforms and a few blocks, and I think it'll keep you a lot safer.